Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take uh, animations from Mixamo and import them to Unreal. Now, in the last video, I did that for FBX um, for Unreal Engine 4 uh, Mixamo imports, uh, but this one I'm going to show you just how to do the regular FBX because there's a bit of a difference, so um, we'll go ahead and look at that. So let's go ahead and go over to Mixamo, okay, and we're going to hit you know, go to our, I guess, our store here. Let's go find a random character to use. Um, I guess I'll just pick a random one for now. Let's do this this person. Okay. I'm going to say find animations. Okay, so we're going to find animations for her. Um, I'll choose just a random one for now. So we'll do this jump. I'm going to add it to the pack. And I'll just change this name to, um, I don't know, mix and mode test. Okay. So once you have all your animations, okay, you're gonna go ahead and hit add to my assets, all right? Hit view slash download. Okay. And then once everything you know is all ready, hit Q download, and then it'll ask for a format. Okay. And let's say let's say you know the FBX for Unreal Engine 4 isn't here. Okay, so you'll choose the regular FBX, just hit Q download. Okay, so that will download. Once it's downloaded, you just hit you know download, it'll do its thing. And then, um, okay, then when it's done, you open it up, extract it, awesome. Okay, so there we go. So we're ready to now import to Unreal Engine 4. So go back to the engine, right click, create a folder. Um, just, you can call it Mixamo or like test animations or whatever you want. Um, I just like to create this folder so we, you know, have somewhere to store all these animations that we're going to kind of retarget to our actual character. Okay, so we'll go into the folder, right click, import, and we're going to go find the uh, Mixamo test folder that we just extracted to. There we go. And first thing you need to import is the actual character itself, or the skeleton itself. Okay, so open that up, and make sure all these options are set, right? You have the skeletal mesh, import the mesh, the skeleton should be set to none, and then you can import the materials and textures if you want, like if you're going to use that character, you know, in your game, then do that. Um, but otherwise, you you probably don't need the materials or textures. But I'll just hit import. So it's going to import, do its thing. It's going to complain a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. Now this is going to be everything that might show up. Okay, so just hit save all for now. Okay, so we'll save it. And I'm actually going to get rid of these default kind of animations that came with it because we don't need them. Uh, so I'll just delete those. Okay, so that's all good. All right, now that we've got the skeleton in, let's import that animation. So right click, import, take our animation, import it, and then for skeleton, we need to select the skeleton we just imported. So that Akai something something. So import that. If you open it up, you can see here it is. It's doing his little doing our little jump thing, and that's awesome, right? Great, fantastic. So next, what we need to do is set up the retargeting poses for these um, characters so that you can you know, transfer animations from one to another. So first one we'll do is uh, this, this check here. So we will open up the skeleton. Okay, go to skeleton. Okay, and um, open up the retarget manager. Okay, and this is gonna allow us to set up kind of a rig for retargeting, All right? So we're gonna go ahead and click this drop down, select humanoid rig. Okay, and now um, it's going to show up with um, all these blank for right now, and it's going to be telling us which kind of node um, or which bone of the rig that we need to select here. Okay, so the root is telling us we need to select, you know, kind of the root, um, which doesn't look like we have. Um, so we'll just, you know, leave it to blank. So then there's pelvis. Pelvis, you choose hips. Spine one, we'll choose, you know, spine. Spine two is spine one. Okay, so you can do that. Uh, another thing you can do to kind of speed up the process is hit auto mapping. And that should do everything, um, at least maybe relatively well, but some things are gonna be messed up. Like you'll see here, left hand pinky, that's that's weird, it shouldn't be doing that. So we'll change those that messed up. So, um, or actually, I mean, might as well just go through the whole thing. So I'll just clear the mapping. Okay, and we'll just do this by hand just to show you. Okay, so you do your spines, spine one, spine two. You know, clavicle left is going to be your left shoulder. 
Upper arm left is going to be your left arm. Lower arm will be your left forearm. Left hand will be, you know, left hand. Okay, then you'll do the same for the right side. Okay, right arm, right forearm, right hand. Okay, then it's going to ask for the neck. So go choose your neck. Head, choose the head. Thigh left. Okay, you need to scroll down and do left up leg. Calf left will be your left leg, and then foot left will be your left foot. Okay, so do the same for the right. Here we go. And there we go, last one. Okay, so um, so we've done all kind of the base ones, right? So now if you hit show advanced, it'll show you kind of the more you know advanced parts, which are you know the the finger joints and all that, um, as well as kind of the the IKs and feet and all that stuff. Um, so let's do that next. Let's go for index. You know, for index finger left, we'll choose the uh, the left hand index one. Then we'll do left hand index two, left hand index three. All right, for the middle, left hand middle one, left hand middle two, left hand middle three. So <laughs> I realize you know this is probably pretty boring, but um, it is, you know, important to make sure you do right. So, um, you know, if you you can skip ahead a little bit if you just want, you know, if you can do this yourself. So, anyways, keep adding them. Okay, and man, this is only for the left hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost done with the left hand now. Um, so then we come to this part here: lower arm and upper arm twist. Okay, so what we need to do for these bones is we need to uh, for this one choose the left hand okay and then for this upper arm we need to choose the left arm okay now continue on with the index or with the right hand okay so gotta add all those it's gonna be terrible um, I'll just see you guys in a sec alright so I've just gone ahead and added all the the right hand fingers so now we'll do the lower arm twist right and upper arm twist right which will again will be the right hand for the lower arm twist and then the right arm for the upper arm twist. Uh, now there's a couple of the kind of feet related things so for the calf twist you can leave that to none. Uh, for the ball left we're gonna go down and choose our left toe base. Okay then for the thigh twist we're gonna choose the left up leg. Okay then again skip the right uh, skip the calf twist right then go to ball right and choose right toe base then thigh twist. Sorry for that. I live in New York and it's uh, pretty hectic sometimes. So, anyways, um, for the thigh twist here, choose the uh, right up leg. And then, since we don't have any IKs, you can just leave all the IKs alone. Okay. Um, now, I'm actually going to go back here to the root and I'm just going to leave this to, you know, none. So, just empty it. Okay. All right, so now we can just hit save, save everything. Everything should be good. Um, last thing, let's hit show advanced options here, and we're going to change kind of the, uh, you know, the retargeting um, translation modes here. So we'll right click, say recursively set translation to skeleton. Okay, then we'll change this the hips here to um, animation scaled. Okay, we'll go down here to um, well, we don't have any IK, so we don't need to worry about it. So that'll be good. Hit save. All right. Next, let's go, or we'll hit save one more time, I guess. Next, we'll go find our skeleton um, for the mannequin here. So go to the mannequin folder, characters, mesh, skeleton. Open that up. We'll go to the skeleton again. Open up your, you know, retarget manager if it isn't already. We'll set up a rig. Okay. And this one you can just hit auto mapping, and that'll be great. Okay. Now we need to um, change his animation pose. Okay. So we'll hit view pose here. Uh, or his retargeting pose rather. Okay, and what we'll do is we want to take his arms, okay, and kind of move them out to be more in a T pose position. So we'll move this up to about 45, take his left arm, you know, rotate it back to about 20, maybe. That'll be good. Do the same thing on the other side. So rotate it up to 45, then rotate the left arm back to 20. Okay, and then hit save pose. So it'll snap back, but if you hit view pose, you'll see it go. It shows its retargeting pose. So that's great. Um, last thing, let's go to the skeleton, show advanced options, and we're just going to change the pelvis here to animation scaled. 
Okay, everything else should be good already, um, so you can just ignore the rest. And now we should be ready to, you know, um, retarget our animations. So we'll go find the animation in Mixamo. Okay, we'll right click, say retarget anim assets, duplicate anim assets and retarget. Okay, it's going to show our character here and then the target. So it'll also show these, you know, the skeletons here that we c can retarget to. So we'll choose this dude. Here he is. Awesome. You can rename it, different stuff like that. Change where it goes, you know, change which folder it goes to. Um, but I'm just going to leave it all at its defaults and let's hit retarget. So now you'll see it's retargeted it. And if we open it up, you'll see it's working nicely, right? His bones are all working correctly. Even the hands, you know, are good. So yeah, there you have it. All right, there's the basics of animation retargeting from Mixamo to UE4. Um, you can use this technique for you know any other skeletons that you have. It doesn't just have to be Mixamo, um, but this is just one way of showing it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you like the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.